Every day we interact with a countless number of things. When we eat, when we work, when we entertain ourselves, we obviously make use of these tools to facilitate whatever it is that we want to get done. But how well do we know these things? Are we aware of all of their features? Or maybe there are some secrets about these things that we don't know about just yet. Today we'll be looking at amazing secrets hidden in everyday things. Embrace yourself for a video packed with secrets that I'm sure you didn't know about. I promise you that by the time we make it to the top, you'll have learned a thing or two about stuff that you probably interact with in your everyday life. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Our first entry is Flavored Nintendo Cartridges. Have you ever put a Nintendo Switch cartridge inside of your mouth? I hope not, unless of course you're a toddler who still doesn't fully understand the difference between edible and non-edible items. But for that reason, Nintendo has put a bitter taste in their cartridges. Since these things are so small and likely to be messed with by little ones who don't fully know what they're doing, Nintendo made them taste bitter, so people can spit it out and keep themselves from swallowing them. When the Nintendo Switch was first advertised, that was a big selling point, and soon enough after the Switch actually came out, people were actually tasting cartridges of The Legend of Zelda. It proved to taste bitter than advertised, so Nintendo actually got a step up on everybody with that. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Our next entry is Bread Tags. This one is pretty obvious, isn't it? Well, that's what you think, but bread tags have more than just one function. Besides being used to help keep your bread fresh and sealed, these little tags also indicate the day on which your bread was baked. For example, if the tag is blue, it means it was baked on a Monday, and if it's green, it was baked on a Tuesday. And then red is for Thursdays, white is for Fridays, and yellow is for Saturdays. This is pretty convenient, and once you learn the color code, you'll easily remember how fresh your bread is, so make sure you eat it before it goes stale. Our next entry would be holes in pen caps. If you use pens, you probably use their caps to make funny whistles and other funny sounds with. But there is more to these holes in the caps than just making musical instruments out of them. Just like the Nintendo cartridges, these holes have been put there to help people who put small objects in their mouths. There were studies that showed that a lot of people choke on pen caps, so these holes were put in to make sure that people can keep breathing while help arrives. It would still be best if no one ever chokes on one of these things, but I guess it's good to know that there is a bit of hope if such tragedy occurs. Our next entry is Colors at the Bottom of Toothpaste Tubes. If you're a curious person, you probably notice that the bottom of the toothpaste tubes usually have a square that is either red, black, or blue. And if you haven't noticed that, you should go find your toothpaste right now and check what's at the bottom of the tube. These colors are not just random, they've been put there to let you know what kind of substance has been used to make your toothpaste. If it's blue, it means it was made with natural elements, and some medicine to enhance its effects. If it's green, it means it only has natural ingredients. And then, if it's red, it has a chemical composition added to the natural ingredients. And if it's black, then it means it's pure chemical. So there you go. Now you can be a bit more aware of what kind of toothpaste you want to buy, without having to read an endless list of ingredients. Our next entry is Soda Cup Lids. When you come home to a clean and neat table, the last thing you want to do is probably leave a soda ring on it. For that reason, soda cup lids have been designed in a way that you can also use them as coasters. The lid has a grooved ring on which the bottom of your soda cup will perfectly fit. Of course, the last thing that we want to do is produce more plastic in this world, but don't worry about that. Even the biodegradable lids have this feature, so give some good use to it and don't leave any more marks on your tables. Our next entry is that extra little pocket on your jeans. We all have given different uses of that little pocket on our jeans. In my case, I've used it to keep coins and small chains so I can access it easily whenever I need it. Some other people put lip balms and other small objects that they like to keep in handy. However, the original purpose of this pocket was to keep pocket watches protected. Back in the day, gold miners were the people who wore the jeans the most. They didn't have watches or cell phones like we do today. They had pocket watches, and that little compartment on their jeans is what helped them keep their watch safe. Our next entry is tabs on soda cans. Soda cans are pretty easy to use, am I right? There's nothing complex about them. However, some people don't know it, but there is a purpose for those little tabs that you can use to open the cans. You might think that the holes in the tab are only there to help you slide your fingers in and pop it open, but they're also there to hold your straw and make it more comfortable for you to sip on your drink. It sounds like they put a lot of thought into this, so we better make proper use of it. 
Our next entry is Margins on Notebooks. This one might be a bit old school. I know a lot of you probably don't use these anymore, but in case you do, or at least in case you've seen them before, you notice these margins on notebooks. A lot of people used to think they were there to guide you regarding how many sentences you can fit into one page. Other people used to think that they were there to allow you to take notes on the side. However, the real purpose of these margins was to protect your work. Back in the day, having rats at home was quite common, and they would usually chew on a lot of stuff. That includes paper. These margins helped people keep their work in the safe area, as rats would usually chew on the edges first and leave the inner part of the paper untouched. Our next entry is pom-poms on hats. Some people think these things are trendy and some others prefer to stay away from them. But whether you love them or hate them, the pom-poms on your winter hat were meant to be more than just fashion accessories. In the past, the pom-poms were used on sailor hats to protect men from bumping their heads when they were working below deck. In that way, the pom-poms would act as a buffer, keeping people's heads safe. Our next entry is Orange Bags. Next time you buy oranges, make sure you get the ones that come in mesh bags, and don't throw away those bags. If you tie them up and wrap them up nicely, you can make great scrubbers out of them. This will be very useful to clean your sink and other surfaces around the house. And also, it's a great way to contribute to the environment by lowering the amount of waste in our house. Our next entry is the hole on elevator doors. If you pay close attention to elevator doors, you'll notice a hole in some of them. And if you're a curious person, you're probably wondering what those holes are for. Well, they're definitely not for spying, and they are not there by mistake. These are keyholes, and only authorized personnel have access to them. This is useful whenever there's an emergency or simply during a maintenance routine. So, rest assured that no one is looking at you from the other side of the hole. Instead, they're probably watching you through their security cameras. Our next item is Tic Tac Lids. If you love Tic Tacs, you're probably a bit stingy when it comes to sharing them with others. And if you don't know about the proper use of their lids, then you probably shake a bunch of Tic Tacs on your hand and pick a few of them to give to other people. If you look closely, Tic Tac lids have small indentations on them, on which you can perfectly fit one Tic Tac. In that way, the lid can hold one Tic Tac at a time, without having to place them all on your hands. Our next entry is Panhandle Holes. If you don't spend much time in the kitchen, you might be wondering what those holes on panhandles are for. Any ideas? Yeah, they're definitely useful if you want to hang the pans on the walls, but there's also another hidden purpose for those. You can also use them to hold the utensils you're using for cooking. Whether it's a wooden spoon, a spatula, a ladle, or any other tool, you can perfectly fit them into the panhandle hole. This will keep the utensil from getting close to the fire and melt. And it'll also make things more practical, as you won't have to worry about the dripping stuff over the counter or on top of a clean plate. That looks pretty practical to me. Now it's time for the day's best pick. If you look at today's list, it's quite evident that there are many secrets hidden in everyday things. We can find these secrets and stuff inside our homes and even our rooms. But there's also a lot of secrets and stuff that's out there in public spaces, like these brushes on the sides of escalators. Can you guess what they're used for? Our next entry is, of course, bristles on escalators. These brushes you see on modern escalators are made so people can ride safely. While the escalator keeps moving, the bristles remain stationary. They discourage people from standing too close to the sides, and that avoids any incidents such as getting their shoelaces or pieces of clothing stuck in the space between the steps and sides. It is said that one of the worst injuries that can happen while on an escalator is when the foot gets caught between the sides and the moving steps. Can you just imagine getting your foot stuck like that? This kind of incident would be terrible and it could easily harm other parts of your body. For that reason, don't underestimate these brushes. They are lifesavers. Our last entry is Beer Cozies. The use of Beer Cozy is very straightforward. This thing made out of foam or other soft fabric helps you thermally insulate a drink container such as a bottle or a can. This is very useful when it's hot outside and you don't want the weather to warm up your drinks. However, people have found a very creative way to use these things. The beer cozies can also be used to stop fruit from bruising. This is very helpful in case you want to grab some soft fruits for lunch. Apples, peaches, pears, most of these fruits are the right size to fit inside a cozy and stay safe inside your lunchbox. So next time you decide to bring fruits with you, make sure you grab a cozy. It'll make things much easier for you. It seems like there are way too many secrets out there, and I've definitely been using a lot of these things in the wrong way. What about you? Did you learn a new secret today? Is there one that we missed on this list? Let us know about some other amazing secrets in the comments section down below. 
I look forward to learning more about these things and starting to use them in the proper way. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.